Hi, my name is Alex. I'm from Indiana, and I've been part of the Cleveland and Toledo teams here with the Culture Project. And I'm a part of the Culture Project because I believe their mission is the healing that the world needs. When I was in college, I remember being so heartbroken, looking at my own life and the lives of those around me, and realizing that unhealthy relationships or a view of the human person that's so utilitarian was dragging us down and allowing us to live for so much less than we were created for. This great life of humanizing virtue and of real sacrificial love. I studied counseling in my undergrad and I realized that so many people's problems all came back to these issues of identity and sexuality, not realizing whose they were and how they could live love in a way and express love in a way that helped them to become more of who they truly were. And hearing these messages of theology of the body healed my heart and the heart of so many people around me. And the more we lived them out, the more they really resonated in our heart. And I've seen how in the classroom, the healing power of these messages has really come to light. There was one time where a teammate and I were talking to some students, some seventh and eighth graders, about these messages of uh, human dignity and sexual integrity. And during a Q&A session, the girls split off and the boys split off. And the girls wanted to ask the guys some questions and I was like okay what questions do you want to ask and based on the talk one of the girls wanted to ask the men how can we love you more and uphold your dignity I was so struck by this question because it showed that she was able to overlook these divisions that are so often put in place between men and women in middle school to really want to love them and to love them well and to know how they needed to be responded to. And so when the guys and girls came together, I posed this question to the guys and my guy teammate Jesse kind of his joke was like, all right guys, gather around. But they all jumped up before he had a chance to say another word and somehow whiteboards were put into our hands in both groups. The girls and the guys were writing down ways that we wanted to be loved and upheld. And when we read these whiteboards, I remember being so struck by the fact that both the men and the women wanted at the end of the day the same things. They wanted to be seen as more than just their bodies or more than just their abilities or even just their jokes, but to really be seen and loved and cared for. And it struck me so much as well as the students. I remember them actually being mind blown by the fact that there were so many differences between them, but at the same day, there was this unity that was possible. They actually didn't know that the other group wanted to be friends with them too. And it was really cool to see when we came back to that school later, the cultural shift that happened in that school, the healing that happened in a lot of the divisions that were in the hearts of the students. And a student came up to me afterwards and said, Alex, I am so glad the Culture Project came because we wouldn't have been able to have these conversations on our own and it has changed a lot for us. And that's why I'm a part of the Culture Project.